you ever taken a picture and you notice something later on? Like, you know, like a photo bomb or something like that that you didn't notice before? No, but I do have a uh, a creepy photo story. Oh, really? All right. Have at it. So, uh, around here, there are a fair number of abandoned warehouses. This is true, such. yes. Um, so, one day, uh, Micah and I and our buddy Boa, uh-huh. famed in song and story, yes, decided we'd go out and explore a little bit. All right. So we were roaming around. Uh, it looked like the place had been a factory at one point. A, a lot of the buildings were sort of falling down. Plants were growing up through and that sort of thing. Well, we go into this one, and it looked like it had to have been a pretty major factory floor because it was just this huge empty room. I mean, there had to be something there. And there was a there was this stairwell. And... You know, you could go up, which we couldn't really figure out where it went, but you could go down as well, and it was flooded. Really? Yeah, the stairwell was just flooded. So we're already a little creeped out. We're like, this is the first five minutes of a Supernatural episode. We're going (laughs) to be those guys. (laughs) Great. Oh, boy. So we go walking. You know, we're like, all right, might be time to get out of here. And we, you know, we walk out, and we happen to notice something weird so there's this spider web up in this this corner and there's a photo hanging in the spider web what old old photo i want to say it was like a an old polaroid jeez of a little girl oh and we all looked at each other and looked at the photo, and looked at each other, and went, nope, and we left. Bolted. Yep. Jeez. I think Micah got a picture of it. We have no idea where that is, because he took it with his phone, old phones. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Stuff yeah. gets, you know, you lose stuff to, yeah, it, it, to time. Yeah, it's tis, just, yeah, tis part of life. It was super creepy. So that photo actually shouldn't exist because none of that makes any sense. Jeez. How did that picture like how do you hang a picture in a spider web? How I don't do you know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean the the truth is I, there are things, you know, there are things we can't explain. And uh, yeah. and you know a lot of things that, you know, we experience ourselves that ba- that sometimes defies belief yep. and it defies all reason in some regards. I mean, honestly, even even as far as science has come, we still have a vast amount of unknowns out there. I mean, there. we we don't know everything. We never will. Yeah, we we really can't know everything. Yeah, and it's an it's an impossibility. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Oh no no, strive for it. Yeah, strive. You know, I mean, strive forth unto unto the discoveries, uh, and and advance humanity. Yeah. But at the same time, accept that in this life you will never know everything. It's true. I mean, that's 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 the struggle of life. I mean, that's just yeah. like me. I will never truly be satisfied with my life because there's always going to be something that you know either you know affects my family or affects me. That's going to change everything for me, mm-hmm. and I will have to adapt to that. I mean, there's never going to be a time where I'm going to be 100 percent satisfied. Even on my deathbed, I guarantee I will still be saying, "I wish I would have done this." Yeah. I mean, that's 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 the human psyche. I mean, we are programmed to be that yeah, way. I mean, we've only got so much time. Yes. I mean, and it's, yeah, you're never going to do everything you wanted to do. No, so, never. Yeah. And, and anyway, we're looking at some mysterious photos on here. Yep. 20 mysterious photos that should not exist. This is by Planet Dolan. Um, <clears throat> some photos I've seen, uh, there's, there's a few I've seen. Uh, one is, a, I believe one is a, the, the, ha- uh, the hanging lady. Uh, it's a it, it's a picture that supposedly is from an old psych ward, and uh, it's and it's taken from the outside, and it's a full big bay window, and in the big bay window you see you see like a shadow hanging in the background, and it's a, and it's a wom- and it's a woman's body hanging from the rafters. 
you see the shadow of that. That's you, terrifying. You see the shadow of that from the sunlight going through the bay window, mm-hmm. and that's a and that's a scary thing. Uh, but they go inside and they don't find anything, and you see that. Yeah. That's a mysterious photo that that I think that I think maybe a fake, maybe this, maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah. But at the same time, it's just like okay, so things there are things that we can't explain. Let's see if there are any photos in here that truly defy uh, our sense of belief and sense of reason. Here we go. Danger Dolan. From ocean fireballs to mythical apes and ghosts that only show up on film, these are 20 photos so mysterious, so impossible, that it's often said they should not exist at all. Number 20. The Tadpole Monster, 1964, Queensland, Australia. Huh. French photographer Robert Sarek, along with his family, were vacationing off the coast inside rowboats when this large, snake-like creature appeared. It was six feet below water, approximately 80 feet long with a giant wound in its back. One person managed to snag this photo before the creature swam off, never to be seen again. Still a mystery to this day. Number 19. Jeez. The Modern Time Traveler. I've 1991, seen this. Oh, yeah. The South right Forks there he is. Bridge Grand Opening in Canada. This photograph supposedly contains a time traveler seen in the dark shades. His clothing, sunglasses, and especially the camera he carries are far beyond what were available or even invented back then. A good deal of theorists claim this is definitive proof that time travel is indeed possible. Number 18. Hmm. The Naga Fireballs. These fireballs, or Mekong lights as the locals call them, is a phenomenon with an unconfirmed source said to be seen in Thailand's Mekong River, but also said to appear in Izan and Laos. Basketball-sized glowing balls shoot out of the sea and into the air, vanishing after a few hundred meters. Theorists Hmm. suggest phosphine gas, but no current science can accurately explain why this photo is possible. Number 17. The Hampton Court Ghost. 2003, Hampton Court Palace, London. A fire alarm sounded, alerting guards that a door has been opened. The guards Mm. searched every door, but they were all sealed and bolted. However, this disturbing image was found via their CC security cameras, even though the door remained sealed minutes later. Nobody could explain how this was possible. Number 16. The Solway Firth Astronaut, 1964, burg by Sands I've heard in about Cumbria, this photo. England. Jim Templeton was in a marsh taking photos of his daughter. Everything fine. But when he developed said photos, this spaceman appeared in the background. According to Templeton, there was nothing behind her at the time. A clear day, and Kodak verified the photo had not been tampered with. Number 15. The Babushka Lady, 1963, Dallas, Texas. The assassination of John F. Kennedy. Mm-hmm. A mysterious old woman with a brown overcoat and scarf appears in a huge number of photos during the assassination. It's highly speculated she was taking photos or videos at the time, and despite the FBI publicly requesting for her to come forward, she never did. Nobody I think ever I know heard from her why. again. Number 14. Mm, the Battle of after. Los Angeles. 1942, three months after the start of World War II, on the evening of the 24th of February, an aerial barrage assaulted the sky over LA with no planes in sight. The official word was, soldiers had gotten trigger happy when a weather balloon passed over LA, but UFO Mm. conspirators have speculated it was a cover-up for extraterrestrial spacecrafts, a common belief at the time. This is one of the only known photos of the mysterious battle. Number 13. The SS Watertown Ghost, 1924, an oil tanker sailing toward the Panama Canal. James Courtney and Michael Meehan were aboard at the time and accidentally killed by gas fumes. They were then buried at sea, but those still aboard the SS Watertown noticed something peculiar following the ship. Two ghostly faces floating along the ocean, silent and staring. The ship's captain took one snapshot of this phenomenon, and you're looking at it right now. It could not be explained. Number 12. Mm, Brady huh. Jackson's Ghost, 1919. A photo of Sir oh, Victor Goddard's squadron, men who had served in World weird. War I aboard the HMS Day Dallas. This ghostly face was said to belong to that of Freddie Jackson, an air mechanic accidentally killed two days prior by an aeroplane propeller. All the men in this photo confirmed it was Jackson's face, as his funeral was being held that day. Number 11. The Ooh. Falling Body. The story is simple and fairly obvious. The Cooper family moved into their new home in Texas, a photograph was taken of their family, <laughs> oh, and when it developed, no. a body appears from the ceiling. Sheldon there Cooper? isn't much context here. It could be real, it could be Dr. fake, Sheldon but there's no Cooper. way to know for sure. Sorry. Number 10. The McMinnville UFO, 1950. McMinnville, Oregon. A super famous photo, thought to be the original UFO. 
The reason this one was so famous, it was picked up by a Life magazine and went on to get featured in hundreds eh, of newspapers the across the country. Mind you, this is <laughs> only 12 frizzy. years after the it's infamous War of the Worlds broadcast and the fear of the unknown was fresh in pop culture. To this day, mm. the flying saucer blob on the photo remains controversial. What could it possibly be? Number 9. The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall. Huh? 1936. Photographers from Probably. Country Life magazine took this snapshot in Raynham Hall, Norfolk. The story went, in 1835, a house guest in the hall noticed a phantom in a brown dress, eyes gouged out, wandering the halls. To this day, mm. nobody can explain what this white image in the photo could be, though skeptics argue it lacks a good deal of authenticity. Number eight, yeah. the Hestelin Light. These mysterious lights over Hestelin I've Valley heard about have been these. reported multiple times for the last 80 years, but it was during the years 1981 and 1984 that the lights started appearing much more frequently, over 20 times a week, to the hmm. point where people would just show up to see them. Some suggest it's an unstable tear through space and time, one we cannot yet understand. Number huh. seven, well, the skunk ape. In 2000, Florida, sightings of a large, foul-smelling ape creature have been frequent for 30 years. But it was an anonymous woman that mailed this single photo to her local sheriff's department that put a face to the name skunk ape. She wrote that on three separate occasions, this ape entered her backyard to steal apples. Since that time, nobody can disprove this photo, it looks authentic, and it's highly possible it belongs to the group Hominid Cryptids said to inhabit Florida, Carolina, and Arkansas. And it could very well be creeping around to this day. Mm, Number six, the Spectre think. of Newby Church. 1963, a church again, in North eh? Yorkshire, England. Reverend K.F. Lord took this photograph inside uh, his church alongside I'll, I'll several others. He thought nothing of it until the film was developed, and this hooded creature appeared. Experts say the photo is not the result of double exposure. That's the figure up, is truly there in the mask. shot, but what it could be, it nobody is, knows. Yeah. Number five. The UFO painting, the mid-1400s. While technically this is not a photo, this painting called the Madonna with St. Giovannino by Domenico Gallandaio depicts something very unsettling. Above Mary's right shoulder, you can clearly see a round, spiky object in the sky. Air travel would not be invented for another 400 years, and there is no known phenomena that could account for this bizarre shape There's in an otherwise standard painting for the too. era. Did they see something we didn't? We'll never know. Number four. That's true. The Phoenix yeah. Lights, 1997. Five giant lights appear in the sky over the city. They appear one at a time. They stay for a while and then disappear. Reports from earlier that day described a colossal mile-wide dark aircraft in the sky moving from town to town. A nearby air force claimed the lights were simply flares attached to helium balloons because of how perfectly in line they were, but people do not buy it. There is a full documentary on this. The YouTube link is down below. Number mm. three. The Loch Ness Monster, uh, Old wow. Nessie, Nessie's the sea only monster, three? massive urban legend, wow. rumored to be a still surviving dinosaur known as a plesiosaur. The most famous image, the surgeon's photograph from 1934, although this was later revealed to be a giant hoax made of a toy submarine and a plastic wood neck. However, eyewitness accounts and even live footage of Nessie are evidence enough that there is at least one creature in the loch, but we may never know if it is the fabled dinosaur. Number two. Bigfoot, also known ah. as the Sasquatch, found in the American Never Northwest. Yeah. Just like Nessie, the legend of Bigfoot has grown with folklore, hoaxes, and faked photographs. But there is a very real possibility that Bigfoot is not a hoax. Giant apes, known as the Gigantopithecus Black Eye, existed as recent as 100,000 years ago, and they were over triple the size of humans and walked on back legs. It's very possible a few survived somewhere out in the wilderness. Number one. The Black Knight. Legend goes, a mysterious black object orbits around Earth, huh. one that's been around for 13,000 years. The object, dubbed the Black Knight, had allegedly been beaming signals to Earth for a long time, but only recently have we acquired the technology to receive it. The legends claim it was put there to watch us, to study Earth's development, and this is one of the few photos taken of it. However, like with a lot of myths, it took on a life of its own. Unrelated stories about noises from outer space, combined with Black Knight theories, gave birth to this legend, and there hasn't been much evidence of its continued existence. But it's not impossible that somewhere out there, someone or something is studying us silently, and it may be Batman. I hope it's Batman. <laughs> so that is it for this 20 I list. Hope it's Batman. Have a good one. I hope it's Batman. Uh. Okay, so two of those photos I have heard are inspirations for some for storylines of Doctor Who actually. I can believe it. I was going to say the Perth astronaut is one oh, of them. Oh yeah, I believe cause, that. Cuz the the random astronaut 
uh, in the one season where Matt Smith's doctor gets right. Yeah, gets yeah, 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 yeah. Which we won't go. We won't <clears throat> go into any more detail. But no. Yeah. Yeah. Possible. The, the, per- the Perth right. astronaut I heard is a pretty big inspiration for it because a random astronaut out of nowhere. Yeah. And then the uh, the the one with the the photo of the plague mask. Yeah. The yeah. the ghost of the plague mask. That's actually uh, that's actually I forget what vi- what uh, which one that is in Doctor Who. But it looks kind of like the <coughs> silence, like the uh, the silence of the the guys. Uh, is it's the silence? I'm pretty sure. It, yeah, it, it is. It that, is. Yeah, I yeah. Because they they look similar to that. You know, and the idea is you look at them, you see them, you're terrified, you look away, and you forget that they exist. Yeah. So and, uh, yeah, that I think that's what I think that's what it was inspired by. I'm not sure. I, but, you know, I, I can <clears throat> see where you're coming from with that. Yeah, I... And then the, uh, oh, the lights in the sky. That that seems pretty Doctor Who to me. Yeah, yeah, of, yeah. of course. And I was going to say, yeah. it. there's there's one video that I... Uh, <clears throat> this one right yeah. here. All right. <clears throat> this was years ago. I All right, you this, folks are getting a double. <clears throat> this came out of nowhere, and I I don't know if it's like a Chinese aircraft or a test anything, but it just comes out of nowhere, and it just starts spinning and swirling. Hmm. And you see, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a new, like a, like a, like a new form of a chemical release or anything like that. But it's, it's right over. I, I for I think it's Chai Shen, like right there. That right there. It 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 makes me just like, huh. That is I, odd. I know. I don't know if this is like special effects or anything. But this debuted like five years ago. It was. And there were like different videos of it, but this is the but this is the best it, one. It almost looks like Hmm. I don't know. That's I don't know either. That's what gets me. And that's what that's what shocks me is that well That's weird. And it keeps tra- uh, trailing across the sky until eventually uh, until eventually the camera loses sight of it, mm-hmm. and it's and I've heard like all sorts of people say, "Oh, it's a uh, oh, it's it's just this or it's just that." Uh, Zhao Zhao Shan, Shan, that's Zhao Shan the, Airport, yeah, yeah, Zhao Shan Airport. Interesting. And uh, yeah, that you see stuff like that, it, it interests me. I mean, honestly, I'm skeptical of it because truth is, it's it's just it may very well just be. Nothing. It may very well just be like a Chinese aircraft or something else. I don't know. But <clears throat> the fact that there's video of it, it, it may very well be special effects. I don't know. But it's very convincing in some ways. Mm. And very condemning. And I really, I mean, honestly, there's, I mean, honestly, I want to write off aliens as something that does not exist, but we still know so little about our own our own planet. I mean, all right. I mean, how much of our oceans have we have we like traversed? Very little. Exactly. Um, and <clears throat> well, okay. Even if you consider human life to be just like a random occurrence, yes. Okay. We have no idea how big the universe is. Well, according to well. I've heard I've heard scientists say that uh, uh, this is this is just a, a placeholder for their estimate mm-hmm. infinity minus one. Yeah, see that that's the thing, and, and and you see we don't know the limitations. I mean, honestly, uh, they say that the the universe is in fact infinite, but at the same time, there's also an infinite amount of probabilities. You know that it's just like you know general relativity uh, dictates that um, you know on like. In terms of random occurrence, in terms of infinity, there may very well be another version of me out there, or another version of you. <clears throat> well, there that that's what they that's you see that also ties into multiverse theory and everything. Yeah, and that's basically that's getting the, crazy. What what I'm trying to get to here is 
even if the odds of intelligent life coming about are astronomically small, there are so many chances and have been so many chances for it to happen that you can't rule it out. That's fair, yeah. I mean, let's be fair. People win the lottery. The odds of that are pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they are. So, I mean, I mean, yes, the odds are far more likely for you to win the lottery than for, you know, you to get uh, spontaneous creation of intelligent life. But it's sort of a placeholder example. Yeah. It- but it is, I mean... While we can't definitively say, yes, there is intelligent life, we also cannot definitively say, no, there isn't. We can't say one way or the other. And there's there's a lot of things where it's like, you know, oh, this doesn't exist. Well, it's a lot harder to prove that something doesn't exist than to prove that it does. Yeah. It I, I agree with that. Yeah. I mean so. I I mean, there's a lot of people out there who wish to disprove a lot of things. Right. But it is harder to disprove something than it is to Because prove all you need is one sing like you need one singular case. Yeah. And, and then that'll open the door for however many more. Yes. But you know, that, that's what science is about. You know, we're not there to prove or disprove. We're there to see what's out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the exploration. Right. It's about the journey, not the... Uh, well, it, it's about the solution. Right. It, it, it's about the resolution, it, but the journey is... It's, it's not about saying who is right. It's about discovering what is. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. All right, so... Out of all those photos, I mean, some of them, some of them like caught me off guard. But some of them just like mm, the the Black mm. Knight one was. Weird. Yeah, that one. That one's no, got quite a few that's, holes in that's it. That's a really weird one, especially to have it number one. Like Nessie was number three. Yeah. Bigfoot <clears throat> was number two. Yeah, what? and I was gonna say the one I saw, the one I saw, you know, the Hanging Lady wasn't anywhere. Yeah, I mean that maybe it wasn't good enough. I don't know, mm, but. but <laughs> I mean, the fact of the matter is there's no way there can just be 20. No, there's plenty out there. Yeah. And so I guarantee you there's some that has, like, good empirical evidence to support it, but it's not been proven. Yeah, and, and I, I will say this. You know, these lists are interesting, but he... So he does tend to sensationalize them just a touch. Yeah. Um. Like, in the case of, oh, what was the one? Basically, he was like, oh, there were reports of, um, it's like, there there were reports of this mile-wide black aircraft, all this. I'm like, okay. I mean, you, you know, sure, we can we can say that, but. I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things. Yeah. It's weird. It, it is weird. Yeah. It's it's strange to to ponder and comprehend. I mean, it's Yeah, it, and it's it's hard to call sometimes. Yeah. how these things go. Anyway. Well, guys, yeah. what did you think of these photos? Do you think they're all crap? Do you think some of them hold water? I mean, let us know. I mean, yeah. uh and let not, us know in the comments. And not don't be like, "Oh yeah, that picture's got water in it." No, no. You know what we mean. Yes, yes. Don't be a don't be a chungus. Yeah. You know what we meant. Yeah. Be real with us. Yeah. So, uh, and if, you know, if you guys have seen any really crazy ones, you know, or if you've taken a picture that has something just absolutely crazy in it, yeah, you know, tell us about it. Yeah. Tell us. Cause yeah. Crazy. Cause yeah. Th- that's, yeah, that's part of this whole big world. I mean, honestly, it, no one, no one out there has the exact same story. It's true. I mean, that's, and, and honestly, if you have something out there that, that you think will, you think we need to hear that you want to tell us, Hey, yeah. feel free to, there's a comment section down there and it's uh free and open for you all to, uh, to talk uh, just however long know, you want. Keep it civil. Keep civil. Of course. 
but yeah, also check out the original video. You know, check out Planet Dol- Dolan. Oh yeah, got a lot of great videos, a lot of really interesting ones. Uh, so check them out and give them uh, give them some love. Also, uh, if you wish to see more of this, uh, feel free to uh, feel free to click the subscribe button. And uh, we we post a lot of stuff. Yeah, we do. We, we post, post a lot every day. Of videos. At least every day we have at least one every day. And you know, if you like hearing us talk, you're in luck. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so anyway, thank you once again for tuning in. We are the Renegades. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. And we will see you later. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.